In today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to build a profitable dropshipping store step by step. So if you're brand new to dropshipping, then this is the video that I guarantee will take you from having absolutely no store to having a store that's ready to drive sales and turn customers into real money in your pocket. This will be a complete tutorial. So we'll be covering absolutely everything from opening up your store to store design and importing products. So by the end of this video, if you follow all the way along, you'll be ready to start selling your first product. But real quick before we get into it, each and every single week I have the opportunity of giving out a free one-on-one -on -one consulting call to one lucky winner to hop on a call with myself and my team and get all of the guidance that you need and getting your questions answered as well. So if you want the opportunity of winning this call for next week, all you have to do is smash that like button and comment the word Shopify with your biggest takeaway from this video. So first thing first, to even create a successful online store, you need to open up your online store. And this is the first big step that you'll be taking. And I personally want to help you do that without feeling like you're coming out of your pocket for your business right away. So I partnered up with Shopify to help you get this step done in the most budget friendly way. With the link down in my description, you can get a three day free trial on Shopify with no credit card required. And then you'll only be required to pay one single dollar for your first three months. So I'm gonna need each and every single one of you to pause this video. Click the first link in my description so that you can continue to follow along. Because once you click on this link, it's going to take you directly to this page, which is where you'll be able to officially open up your store with the deal that I just talked about. Then once you enter your email and press start free trial, it's going to prompt you all the way through. It's a super, super simple process of answering just around seven questions. And once you get through them, you're going to end up on this screen right here, which is your Shopify dashboard. And from your Shopify dashboard, a brand new money making online store is going to be born. Are you ready? Because this tutorial is going to be the first step to being able to compete with the competition out there and help you drive sales and create that passive income that you're looking for. And I want to help you start doing that by first choosing the theme. Now a theme is just a code that's going to help you give your store a specific look and flow. And Shopify offers many free and paid themes right under the theme section. To get there, you just simply come over here and click on online store. And then you want to scroll to the bottom where you see popular free themes. And let me be the first one to tell you, you don't have to spend thousands of dollars on a theme as their free themes work very well and they have a great flow to them as that's what we're going to be using today. Because I promise you, you can spend as little or as much on a theme as you want. It's not about the theme that you have, but more about how you design the theme that's going to help convert customers into real money in your pocket. Now we'll get into what I mean by that in just a little bit but if you do want access to the theme that I design all of my stores with just keep smashing that like button down below because I'll be dropping it in the description as soon as this video reaches 2,000 likes now we're gonna get pretty technical pretty fast but if you follow along, I promise you it's gonna be worth it at the end of this video when your store is complete. Now, once your theme is downloaded, this is where you're gonna be able to start the actual technical creation of the store. And before you start freaking out, no, that does not mean that you need to know what you're gonna be selling right now, because you're not gonna be building your store off of a specific product or specific niche. You're gonna be creating what I like to call a general store. This type of store keeps you from boxing yourself in or just forcing yourself to sell a certain type of product that may not be in season or just is not working for you. So for a real life example, an online store like Bye Bye Baby has their entire site, domain, and branding towards babies. So it doesn't make sense for them to sell anything other than baby products. Whereas a general store like Target or Amazon, you can buy literally whatever you want from food to lawnmowers on these sites because they've kept their branding very general. By doing this, they've been able to test out selling different products to see which ones sell really well within their store. Then once they find out which of these products sell very well, they just keep those on their store forever. And the products that don't sell, they just get rid of them. And by building your own general store, you're taking that same ideation. I'll find what works, keep it and grow with it and get rid of the ones that don't work. Not just sit there and force myself to keep trying to sell something that's not bringing any money just because that's the brand of my store. Now to start creating this general store, there's going to be two main parts that you're working with. That's your homepage and your product page. Your homepage is just basically the cover of your store. This is where you're going to create a welcoming environment that looks organized, clean, and professional. This is also where you'll be showing off things like your current promotions and sales, your mission statement, testimonials, and all of your legal pages and tracking. And the main difference in those messy stores that everyone labels as general stores and what I'm telling you to create is that our general store will have niche focused product pages. On your product page, this is where you'll be showing off the actual product that you're selling. This is where you'll be listing off different key features and benefits surrounding the product to help persuade the customer to buy. This is also where you'll be promoting any discount specific to the product, along with promoting reviews from other customers. Now, if you do not listen to anything else in this video, 
Please listen to this. Your product page and how it's designed is make or break to the success that you'll have as an online store owner because this is where you'll actually be driving the traffic from the ads that you're running. That means this needs to be created and designed the right way, especially as we head into 2024 where more people are aware of online sellers. And I'm gonna show you the best way to do that in just a minute. But first, let's get this homepage together. So the first thing you're gonna do on your store is actually scroll up and click on customize. And this is the first thing you're gonna see. So the first thing I'm gonna do on my store is make sure I have the right color scheme in place. Now, I do recommend only using three colors max, black, white, and one separate color. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and click on theme settings. Now you want to come over here and click on colors. Now, basically anything that's not black and white, go ahead and replace with another color. And as you can see, I already did that with the color blue. And honestly, you can match this the entire way down. Once you're done with that, you're gonna come back over here and click on sections. And the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is set up our announcement bar. So you wanna go ahead and click on announcement bar and then click on add announcement. Now this right here is where you're gonna promote the season of trend or the sale that you currently have active. So because we know Black Friday is coming up, that's what I'm gonna go ahead and put right here. Something like this, Black Friday sale, 50% off plus free shipping. Now the first section we're gonna go ahead and add is this image with text. So within this, I'm gonna go ahead and add the heading. Something like this, Black Friday fever, again, going with the season of trend. Now under that, you wanna give a quick description of your business and the sale that you have going on. And this is a perfect example of what you can put here. And if you wanna stop the video, you can screenshot and use this as well. Now we need to add an image here. And you're probably asking, well, AC, where do I even get images from? Well, the best place to get non-copyrighted, high quality images is from a place called Pixels. And on this website, you can just type something like Black Friday in. Or maybe I'll use an image like this. I'll come back over here to my store. And now I'm gonna go ahead and upload that. Now that that section's done, we're gonna go ahead and add some rich text. And in your rich text, this is where you should be putting your mission statement of your business. Now, before you guys are like, well, AC, I'm no copywriter. What type of mission statement should I use? Well, what you should use is your resources. One of my favorite places to get any type of help with copy is ChatGPT. I might type something like this. I run a general dropshipping store on Shopify and I'm looking to create a mission statement to add to my store between three to four lines long. Let's go ahead and see what it creates. I'm not gonna lie, that's not bad. I'm actually gonna go ahead and use that. Now the next section would be a featured product, but we don't have that product yet, so just wait on it. The next thing I like adding is a multi-column. And this is perfect to be able to add any type of reviews or legitimacy of your business. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a few. Something like this. Now you can just use this as text if you want to, or you can add images to make it even look more legitimate, which you can also get from Pixels. Simply come over here and type in woman smiling or man smiling and use those as your images. Once you're done, it should look a little something like this. Now the last thing you wanna go ahead and add is your footer. Now with this footer, you do wanna make sure you have an email sign up. Something like this, let's keep in touch. We'll see a new exclusive discount and promo on us. The best part is sign up is free. We all know email marketing is huge and the more emails you get, the better successes you have as an online store owner. Now also part of the footer, I do like reiterating my mission statement, as you can see right here. And then you wanna add two sections. You wanna add your quick links and you wanna add your policies. And you might be asking, well, AC, how do I create policy pages? Well, you know I got you covered as well. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's head right back over here to ChatGPT and tell it to create us a shipping policy page. Now you do wanna make sure these shipping times make sense for your business and you do wanna make sure that they're accurate before you go ahead and add it. And to add that, you wanna come back over here to the main dashboard on Shopify. You wanna scroll down over here to pages. You wanna click on add page and let's go ahead and name this shipping policy. And then what you just got from ChatGPT, that's what you're gonna go ahead and put right in here. And then go ahead and click on save. Now I already created the privacy policy, returns and exchanges, and terms of service, the same way I just showed you guys, so make sure to add that as well. Now as you see, this homepage really only took me like 10 minutes, and it's looking really good. And like I mentioned, once we get our product page together, we'll come back and add that main feature product to the homepage, so that for any type of reason that any shoppers end up on your homepage, you're always directing them right back to where you want them to be. And if you need to rewind, and rewatch anything that we just did for the homepage to make sure that you're ready for these next steps, do what you have to do. But before I get into that real quick, store design and making sure you have the right tools and knowledge to succeed is something that we focus heavily on inside my one-on-one -on -one mentorship to make sure that you have the potential to build successful brand after brand. So if you're someone who wants tailored one-on-one -on -one guidance towards creating and running your online business profitably, no matter your experience level, head over to my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton, DM me the word mentorship, and take a look down in my description for a special discount that you can go ahead and get for just watching this video. All right, so now to create the product page, you have to first have your product imported to your store. And if you're someone who still might be looking for a product, 
Make sure you go ahead and tune into this video right here, where I give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on finding winning products to sell throughout the entire year. But until you have your product research done, I already linked the product that I'm going to be using as an example in today's video in the description down below under practice products so that you can continue to follow along. Now, in order to link your product and your store, you're going to need something that's called a fulfillment app. I personally use AutoDS and I always suggest them to my students because this fulfillment app makes it so much easier than any other app that I've used to connect products to your store with the option of over 20 different suppliers that could be linked. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a link for them in my description as well so that you can get your first month free. Now, once you register and connect your Shopify store, you're going to be on the dashboard of AutoDS and it looks like this. Now, to import the product that you wanna to sell to your store, you're gonna first grab the link from the supplier who is selling that product. So since this is the product I'm gonna be selling, I'm gonna come over here to the top and I'm gonna go ahead and click on copy. Now I wanna come back over here to AutoDS and I wanna click on add products. And I wanna go ahead and click on single product. Now right here, this is where you're gonna go ahead and paste that link that you just had from your supplier. And then click on edit now slash quick look. Now I'm telling you, it's literally that easy. Now this product only has this variant, but if yours did have multiple variants, you should come over here to the variant section and choose the ones that you wanna sell. Next, you wanna go ahead and click on edit. Now right here, you can see what you're gonna be able to set as your selling price. And you should base this off of what is already working in the market for your competition. Once you have your selling price put in, you're just gonna go ahead and click on save. Next, we're gonna come over here to the images. Now these are gonna be the product images that are added to your store. And you can add all these images if you want. If you don't, that is perfectly fine. But say you didn't want this image right here, you just simply unselect. Now the last thing that you should be doing for all the people who've used AutoDS and said, hey, why is the pricing changing just automatically? It's because you have these two options selected. So what I would do is I would simply just come over here, turn stock monitoring and price monitoring off. So that way you are fully in control of what pricing that you're gonna go ahead and set. Now, once you're done with all of that, you're gonna come back over here and click on save and import. And as you see, it says it's starting to import and now it's gonna be put in the drafts. And just like that, products have been imported to your store. Now, if you followed along, you should have the product page published to your store. And now we can start working on designing the actual product page so that when customers do come into it, they do not leave without buying your product. So let's head back over to Shopify and go into our products. Now, once I click on products, you'll see that the mop is now imported to my store. Now, once I go ahead and click on it, this is where it's gonna take me to the actual product description. And in the product description, that's where we're gonna be doing the following. Highlighting your dealer sale using high quality images and GIFs, and lastly, focusing on the features and benefits of the product that would matter most to the customer. So from here, the first thing we're gonna go do is name the product. And no, I would never use this long title right here. Instead, I would make this personable to myself and my brand. So I went ahead and named it Magic Flat Large Squeeze Mop. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is start off my product description. And with my product description, I wanna announce the problem somebody's having and then immediately give the solution. Now to be honest, that's about all I would do on this section right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on save, but that does not mean I'm done with the product page. I'm actually gonna come back over here to the online store settings, the same way we just structured the homepage. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and click on this at the top, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on products, and I'm gonna go ahead and click create template, and name this mop. Now since I went ahead and did that, now it's time where I can really start customizing this product page. So I went ahead and entered my product. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is upload a GIF or image, and then I'm gonna go ahead and announce a problem that somebody has. Now I'm gonna ask a question like this, are you tired of manually ringing, bending the mop, cleaning under furniture, and buying disposable mop pads. Well, no worries because as a company, I got you covered as a customer. Where I can now give a solution just like I did in the statement right here. And after that first feature and benefit, we're gonna go ahead and add the next one. And now let's go ahead and finish off strong with the last one. And just like that, I was able to create this entire product description. Not just showing off images or GIFs, but showcasing both. Now I did forget one thing, and that's to make sure to add a compare price. You always wanna do this if you're highlighting a sale. So to do this, you're gonna come back over here to the product inside the actual product section. Go ahead and highlight the variant, click bulk edit, come down over here, click edit. And then because I already said 50% off, I'm gonna go and stick with that for this example. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 79.99 and click save. And now you can see it's highlighting the sale. Now, as y'all can see, I'm pulling a lot of the information that I'm using from my competitor store. And no, I'm not just copying it word for word, but I'm more so being mindful of what features and benefits are using to sell this product because they're going crazy with it in the market currently. So obviously consumers like how they're being sold to. Now, when you see something like that, you should use it as a base, but find ways to improve on it. So for example, instead of copying every single thing they're doing, instead of just using all the same features and benefits, I can head over to Amazon, search for the mop, filter down by five-star reviews, find out what other benefits of the product that customers are loving that my competition might have not tapped into quite yet. Now, as you can see, this is a product page that's going to give customers a full understanding of not only what the product can do for them, but why they need it and not just want it. And if you do this correctly, 
you're going to start seeing those sales start to come in just off the breakdown of the product alone. Now, to guarantee that you're guiding customers to check out, you want to make sure that you have some key apps on your store. This is going to include apps like Sticky Add to Cart, which will give an option to add the product to cart no matter where the customers add on your page, they can go ahead and add it right away. Next is Discount by Quantity Break, which is going to allow your customers to buy more of your product for more of a discount. Next is Frequently Bought Together, which allows your customer to bundle together other products that make sense to buy with the main feature product that you're selling at a discounted rate. And then of course, you'll wanna have some sort of review app so that potential customers can come to your website and see how the product that you're selling has helped other past customers who've been in the exact same position as them. Each of these apps plays its own part in incentivizing the customer shopping on your store to buy and helps create a seamless shopping experience. And the easier you make it for them to check out, the more likely they'll get to that point. Now, instead of slowing your store down and downloading each of these apps one by one, there's an all-in-one tool called Vitals that's gonna put all these apps and more inside just one single app. I'm gonna go ahead and link them in my description so you can check them out with a great discount. And I also want you to check out this video right here so you know how to set up each and every single one of them. Now, we finished up the harder, more technical stuff as someone just getting started with opening your online store. But there are still two more things I gotta help you do before I leave you to it, and I want you to stick around for both. And that's choosing a domain and creating your logo. Now, if you recall, we created a general store with the way that we designed everything. So you can guess what that means when it comes to choosing your domain. You got it. Keep it general. So what I want you to do is just choose a word, any word. Mine is going to be market. And then with that word, I want you to head over to ChatGPT again and type in, give me 20 domain names that aren't being used for the word market in it that also end in .com. And just like that, you have a full list of domains that you could potentially use on your store. Then once you have one that you chose, you simply will come right back over here to Shopify and click on settings. Come down and click on domains and then click on buy new domain. And then right here, you're just gonna search whatever domain that you chose. Let's say it's gonna be modernmarketmove.com. As you can see, once it's available, you can just purchase this right away. This is only gonna run you about 10 to $15 a year. So if you're serious about getting started, just skip that Chipotle today. Eat at home and use that money to get your domain for the year. Now, once your domain is purchased, it's time to get your logo created. And my favorite tool to use for this is Canva. Canva already has logo designs prepared that you can head in. Choose the one that you like and fill in your own store name so you don't have to spend too much time on it. And that same accent color they're using your logo is going to be the same accent color that you're gonna be using on your store. You really wanna keep this simple and clean so that your store looks professional and does not distract the customer from what they're actually there for, which is to buy from you. Canva is free to use and creating a logo isn't something that I want you to overcomplicate. So I was just using this template. I changed it to a white background. I changed the wording to match my actual domain name and then just use black, white in that one accent color. Now, as you can see, that took me only a couple minutes to create that logo with the help of the templates on Canva and it should be the same for you. Now, once you have your logo downloaded, you're just gonna head right back over to Shopify. And you do wanna make sure you download your logo with a transparent background. And now we're gonna come over here and click on theme settings, logo, and then click select image, add images. And at that point, you're gonna upload the logo that you just created. Now that your logo is in, let's not forget the final touch of adding your product to the feature product on your homepage. So I'm gonna come back over here to sections. I'm gonna come down to the feature product, select product, and now this product is going to be my main feature product added to my store. And now look at that, it's right here on my homepage. Now your store should be completely built out. From the homepage, to the product page, to logo, your domain, your legal pages, I showed you it all. You now have everything that you need to start selling online. And the best part about all of this is that we just got all this done for under $15. Open up your Shopify store was free. Creating your logo was free. Downloading your theme was free. Connecting your supplier with AutoDS was free and your domain was roughly $15 a year. So if the words low startup costs do something to you, then drop shipping could be the business for you. And now you have no excuse to officially get started. Make sure you go and check out this video after this for the next step of opening and running your drop shipping store successfully. And if you're curious to witness the incredible transformations achieved by students who, just like you, began their journey from scratch, starting with the simple act of launching their own Shopify store, then make sure you join my free success discord that I'll be putting in the pinned comment down below. Now it's time to go ahead and get to that work. I'll see you all next week. This is AC with Supreme Ecom and I'm out.